And I've got some brackies from Rachel L. Pederick. And I'm just going to unpackage them now. Really excited about these. Uh, I've got an Emilia, a Smithy, and a nice little surprise, which was a little baby Vegans. So I'm just going to pop the Emilia in here first. Let's see if I. Oh, are you lovely? Oh, hello. You can get you up there, you're doing any flicking. Oh, look. Sweet little thing. Oh. Small tongs. Small tongs. They seem to love the tissue for some reason. That's happy. Right, now promise Rachel I'll take some photos. And we'll see if I can encourage her back out this way. Well, I'm saying her, I don't know if it's a her or not. I'm hoping to be a her. Yes, it be. Right, let's see if we can get you a picture. set up homes for all the others. I'm just going to put that one by there. Um, so. <coughs> I've got some core over here. Ideally it needs to be dry but because they're juvenile stroke slings they um, they need something a little bit damper but not too damp so what I tend to do is I tend to put the damper stuff at the bottom with a layer of dry on the top that way it doesn't upset the spider and then um, dampen a small area over in the corner which they can drink from if they're too small for a water dish. I don't know if anybody else does the same thing or does it differently but it seems to be working for me. Um, so I haven't lost any slings this way or any juveniles in well, 17 years so fingers crossed I haven't just cursed myself. I'll we'll put the dry stuff in now. Okay. 
Africa and Ahalim. I'll get my bricks from a place called Fertile Fibre because you get 20 bricks for 20 pounds which is a bargain. So paying 1.99 or, or more, um, 1.99 I think is the cheapest that I found from either TSS or um, in my local reptile shop. But yeah, I have heard stories of people paying more than that, which is silly, really. Okay, and this one, let me that out of the way. this one is the Smithy. And I did have a peek earlier. This one's had a bit of a bit of a flicking session whilst it's been in transit, so it wasn't very happy. I'm saying that actually, you look more like an Emilia. But hey ho, we'll soon know when the proper colours come through. Okay. I don't know if that's very good. I'm not using the normal camera at the moment, so the quality is a bit naff, unfortunately. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, we've got some hairs, lovely. I'll have a nice scratch later. Take another picture of a Rachel. Nice ball done there. Yeah, that's the Amelia. You can tell from the legs. The other one's quite stripy. We'll just have a double check. Yeah, that one is definitely a Smithy. So we'll scratch that. The first one I did was a Smithy, and this one is the Amelia. So. I didn't put any decoration in yours, but never mind, it's not essential, it's just really for our own own amusement, I think, more than anything. I'll just put something a little bit green there. Perhaps you might want to hide under that. You never know. So, that is. Let's see how it is. Move my hands out of the way. See a hide in there. Not perfect, but they grow, and then you can give them their forever home. Uh, lid. There we go. Get settled in there. That's two. And then Rachel has kindly given me a new tub. Um, I'm not sure what I've done with the lid actually. Uh, never mind. <coughs> we'll do this. So, same again. This one's slightly smaller, so obviously a smaller container. <coughs> uh, tubs or um, these little enclosures, like Rachel's just given me, we get from Stanny at Tartan Tarantulas, which are really, really nice for when you've got small juveniles or or um, slightly larger slings, um, they're no good if you've got tiny slings. Same again, um, this because this one's smaller it needs a lot damper, so what I'll do is I'll leave a damp, damp patch in the corner rather than re-wetting the 
soil again and we don't need as much. Sorry, you need to be breaking it up at the same time because I'm a bit lazy, I haven't bothered um, breaking it up. I'm just scratching at it. <laughs> so I've done a, um, six blocks in the last couple of days, so just put the dry stuff on the top. some of this off. There we go. And a home. I'll take that one a bit better. Nice new home. Okay, and I'm not putting decoration in here because this one's a lot smaller. And you tend to lose them otherwise. one. Uh, this is a Brachypalma vegans uh, Mexican red bump. Who has escaped the tissue? Oh look how you cute. Yeah you've been flicking as well haven't you? Yes I have one of these already uh, but it's a lot lot smaller and your bun is huge. Anyone see the shiny belt? When that darkens up, we'll be ready to molt. And oh, my little one, you're very flicky, aren't you? So, hey, oh, you've just done a run straight in there. I can't take a picture. Oh, um, I might be able to get a picture. Let's have a look. Let's see if I can get in there. We can just see a bum, so that's fine, never mind. Let's have a look. Yeah, you've disappeared completely, okay? Also, at least we know you like it in there. So, that's the small container I was telling you about. I need to go and find the lid now. Uh, gone straight in the hide. In here. That's how you know that you've done a job well. And. I would like to say thank you very much Rachel, I had a bit of a wait but she did the right thing because the weather's been naff and now it's all warm, they were safe to send and I'm really pleased and thanks very much for the freebie. <laughs>